Hey there guys, I'm going to be going to the bonus stage for the SID event. Uh, we're going to be doing it with a somewhat budget run. I am using two rainbows, but they're older rainbows that I think most people should be able to easily replace with their own units. Uh, and the gear is all just either free gear or uh, cheap TMRs. Um, Wilhelm is going to be passively provoking with resistance. You need your provoker to hit 100% resistance either with a buff or just naturally. Uh, I'm going to be using a buff to make mine. Uh, you don't need passive provoke. You can do active provoke if you rather. Passive is just, you know, easier. Uh, Warrior Blight is going to be my evasion cover tank. Now he's going to be um, also doing things like defense break, etc. Uh, Deuce is going to be for the mana regen and uh, healing. And she also heals without using mana on the first battle, which is quite helpful. Uh, Garnet is going to be a buffer and resist buffer and healer and that's really mostly what she does. She can also kill the Esper Gage as well. But uh, yeah. Does she have Dispel actually? Let me double check. She does not. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that off. I'm going to give her a Dispel for the last fight and I'll explain that later. Wait, no, that's not going to that's not going to matter either. All right. I should have come prepared. Whoops. Anyway, uh, there's Garnet. And then, oh, Sephiroth. Sephiroth is going to be a fire chainer. You want fire damage because all the bosses are weak to fire. And he's, he's got a little bit of human killer equipped. And he's on Odin for dragon and undead killer. Uh, and the friend we're taking is Sora because it's just a fire, a fire chainer that chains with Sephiroth. Uh, he's the first one that I found. So, yeah, Sora's good. Uh, so here we go. Get into it. So the first boss is Malakota, and Malakota is um, a dragon and undead. All breaks work. Uh, the missions are. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, the missions are: deal fire and light damage twice, defeat Malakota within five turns, and no magic at all. So the five turn thing is why you need to bring a better DPS than um, like three star DPS. I had to bring Sephiroth, but he's not too too uh, tanky. You know he does die pretty quick if you bring in trainers, so it's fine. Come on. All right. So Wilhelm is going to start off breaking the attack. Uh, for the holy damage mission, we're just going to... Whoops, I punched with the wrong one. We're going to punch with Garnet. Uh, so Garnet hit twice with holy damage. Uh, we're going to cover with... Ah, I shouldn't have covered. Whoops. It doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to... I'm doing everything wrong. We're going to chain Supremacy, and Sora's chain is called Ars Arcanum, but chains with Supremacy. There it is, Ars Arcanum. Alright, so that first turn was super messy, but there we go. I did the fire damage um, and the holy damage. I meant, I meant to break the attack with, uh, or the defense <laughs> with Warrior of Light. Uh, so now let me break the defense. So we deal more damage. Let me do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and chain again. Do how damage we deal. Alright, not quite, but we're almost there. Garnet will uh, Life's Harmony, which is a buff, and it also um, heals the team. And for Mana Regen, we will... There we go. So that gave us a resist buff, because the boss does use Earth Magic sometimes. Alright, there's the Earth Magic, there we go. And let's see if we can finish him off here. Yeah, we got him. Okay, so three turns, not, 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 not too bad. Yeah, I got kind of scattered, uh, distracted. <laughs> but we got it, we got it. All missions, no problem. And we didn't use magic. Uh, that Life's Harmony skill Garnet used was uh, an ability, not magic. So the next boss is um, the Etten. We can't use Dispel or Dispelga. 
You do evoke an Esper and deal fire damage three or more times. Alright, so this shouldn't be too hard. Now this boss is pure physical. Evasion cover will block all the damage. He's going to buff himself each turn, and as long as you don't remove that buff, it's fine. If you do remove the buff, um, like if you like finger snap him or something, or nullify enchant with Kryla, he's going to eject a unit. So I recommend you not dispel that buff, just ignore the buff and deal with it. And he does get more powerful per turn because of it, but uh, with an evasion cover it's no big deal. You know, if you're using a regular tank, just be aware he does hit harder the longer the fight goes on. So let's go ahead and chain with these two. See if we can get an Esper Gauge. We did. Uh, so let's Howling Moon for the buff. And we will him with healing. So we summoned an Esper. And we did fire damage three times. And we're not going to use the spells. We did all the missions. So there we go. The boss is... Attacking, we're evading it all, don't care. Alright, so Garnet will fill the Esper Gauge again. Their limit, that didn't fill very much, but it's fine. Now, as you see, the boss gains some stat buffs, but um, they start at 20% and they go up by 20% per turn. So this turn, they're going to go to 40%, then 60%, then 80%. So he begins taking less and less damage as the fight goes on. But we're going to kill him, you know, in two or three more turns. Maybe less. Uh, Deuce will Dark Green Nocturne. And here's Rampage. Rampage does hurt pretty bad if you're not using Evasion. So again, if you're not using Evasion, just bring some buffs. I'm not entirely sure how hard it hits. It might be fine even without evasion. I don't know. Yeah, but as you see, the boss is slowly getting tankier and tankier as his um, as his buffs get get stronger. But he can't hurt us. The only thing that really changes is that his defense is going up more and more per turn. So he's taking less damage from our DPS. This will probably kill him, though. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So the next boss is the, um... I forget his name. The Gigarat. From the Sea Card event. But he's been buffed. He does. He has a few new abilities, and you need more hit points. I recommend about 7,000 hit points on your units, approximately, to um, survive the fixed attack. But the missions are no items, defeat with magic, and no KOs. So I'm not entirely sure of the mechanics of this updated version. Um, I fought him once, and he wiped everyone at like 20% health, so I'm going again. This is my second, my second attempt. Uh, I'll have to look up look up a data mine later to see what, what changed on this version. Because he's, he's not exactly the same as the C-card version. It's very similar. Like, you've still got the small rats you don't want to kill, etc. Sometimes I think you don't want to kill them. I don't know. Yeah, the mechanics are different than the C-card version. So I'm going in slightly blindish. I don't, I don't have the data mine. But it is similar. Alright, so Garnet is going to Life's Harmony for the Resist buff. Uh, we're going to Physical Cover with Warrior of Light. Wilhelm will break the attack of the big guy. We'll chain these, and then we will heal of healing. So we didn't break the boss's defense yet, so this chain's going to deal hardly anything. But we'll break the defense next turn. Alright, so now we're going to break the defense of the boss. I'm also going to use a attack and magic buff from Wilhelm. Just to get a small boost on my chainers. Let's go ahead and chain with this. Uh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and break the mag. I don't know if magic break matters on this boss. I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, I'm a Holly Moon for the stat buff again. I'm gonna go ahead and chain. Okay. Uh, Deuce will Dark Drain Nocturne, and Warrior of Light will refresh his cover. So this is the fixed attack. I think it deals about 6,500 damage or so. There's the charm. Okay. So the boss is not buff. Uh, let's go ahead and Life's Harmony again. Deuce will Dark Green Nocturne again. Or if Light will break the defense and spirit again. And let's keep chaining. Okay. Uh, he's not buff. Let's go ahead and chain again. Okay, so we're obviously going to win next turn. Uh, life's Harmony. And let's refresh Light is with us. So the boss buffed himself with Rat's in Instinct. I'm not entirely sure what that does. It's a stat buff. I'm not sure how much I mean. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna kill him this turn. So we're gonna let's do it twice to make double sure. Let's dual cast Holy. So it's Holy and Chain. Got him. So we killed him with magic. Uh, Warrior of Light. Go ahead and like just break all their attack and magics, whatever. Alright, now it's just a matter of finishing these off. Um Let's go ahead and break the defense and spirit of everyone. Life's Harmony for the Resistance. Uh, Sephiroth will Limit Burst. And I guess Stun Impact. Whatever. Let's see if we can just AoE kill them all. That didn't quite work. That's fine. Get them next turn. These rats aren't really that important. Uh, Oblivion. Alright, we got a few of them. Ah, uh, Light is with us. Dark Green Nocturne. And Life's Harmony. And we'll get it next turn. Alright, there we go. I was fanning. That should have been all the missions. I think. What were the missions again? No items. Finish with magic. No deaths. Got it. Got it. Alright. Full sweep. Uh, that was kind of budget. You know, I did use two rainbows, but that was all cheap gear, and those rainbows were pretty old. So, you can replace those with any unit you want. And now I'm going to get a little bit of food and go and pull for Sid. So, if you want to see my Sid video, tune in for that in about half an hour or so. Later.